When the market goes up, you go up. When the market goes down, you don't go down. Save Money Radio, your money safe and sound. Welcome to Safe Money Radio with your host, Brad Pistol. Brad is a retirement and income specialist, primarily serving Springfield, but he's sought after nationally for his expertise in helping people secure their retirements. Mr. Pistole is a licensed life insurance professional in the states of Missouri, Arkansas, and Kansas, and he specializes in working with people who are near retirement and those who have already retired with wealth management, income planning, and asset protection strategies. Save money, And now, here to talk with you about securing your retirement, your host, Brad Pistole. Thank you for joining me this week. I'm Brad Pistole, host of Safe Money Radio. I specialize in asset and retirement protection and income planning, and I am at your service right here in Springfield in Ozark, Missouri. Well, hello, everyone. I know you might be listening on the radio, but you also might be watching on YouTube or you might be listening to the Safe Money Radio podcast with Brad Pistol. So whichever way you're joining us today, radio, podcast or online with YouTube, we have a very special guest today. In fact, my favorite guest of all time. That's why we have him on so often. But today, America's IRA expert Ed Slot is with us. Ed, thank you so much for joining us again. Great to be back with you all the time. Always great info on this program. Yeah, so this is what's really special. Today, uh, we are actually going to be talking about something that happened while you were sleeping. Uh, During during the Christmas break, when all the snow was hitting, the nationwide blizzards, uh, you maybe had a canceled flight and were stuck somewhere. And while that was all going on, uh, we had a little something happened. Uh, Ed, what happened there at the end of December in 2022? Congress wanted to run home for Christmas, but they got there too late. And uh, when the smoke cleared on December 29th, I think that's the latest possible date we've ever seen a tax bill that became effective in a few days uh, be enacted. So Congress cleared it just before Christmas and the president signed it, uh, actually had the bill shipped to him on a plane. Really? (laughs) Boy, if you remember, on December 29th. So it's law, Secure 2.0. This is the follow-up to the, the, the big Secure Act from three years earlier, which was also signed into law late in December, December 20. That's right. 20, 20, uh, 20, December 20th, 2019. And would you say, Ed, for the average consumer, I know in part two, we're going to get into some of these changes, but would you say for the average consumer who's working every day, raising a family, going to ball games, going to church, giving to charities, would you say these changes are just easy, random stuff for them to keep up with? Uh, not really. There's there's literally hundreds of them. But Secure 2.0, uh, I don't think lives up to the hype. You saw all the, uh, the landmark legislation and Congress patting themselves on the back because they did anything. They pat themselves on the back if they could walk and chew gum. You know, I mean, right. Uh, But it wasn't the or or anything earth shattering like secure was secure was transformational it was a game changer it ended the planning we all did for iras it ended this uh, the stretch ira created new opportunities created this 10-year snafu for beneficiaries but secure too just kind of picked up uh trimmed around the edges but there are a few things that people should know about and it's effective now and that's the other thing with this uh Secure 2.0. Congress, you know, nobody, what do they say about laws being made, like watching sausages being made, right? Yeah. You don't want to see it. But yeah. with all the gimmickry and the budgets, remember, they have to make it work. I don't know why they always say that. They have to make it work, fit into the budget. They're, they're over $30 trillion in debt. All of a sudden, they're worried about the budget? <laughs> you know? Right. right. Last so time. The problem is with Secure 2.0, the effective dates are all over the place. Yeah. Normally, you know, years ago when we had a tax law, when the president signed it into law, it was effective. Everything. The last few years of all the budget gimmicks, well, some were 10 years later, three years later, two years later, some, whatever we feel like it, you know, it's all over the place. So certain certain uh, laws, this is a law, provisions are effective now. Certain provisions are effective maybe next year, some in 10 years, right. all for the 
budget gimmicking. So you have to know which apply to you. Luckily, they have you, Brad. Well, and that's what I want to get into in our next segment is we're going to talk about some of these rules that apply right now that were changes, especially for people who were 72 thinking something was about to change or happen and now it's not. Uh, and those future laws, which are kind of kind of strange. But guys, if you don't already know, and you know I talk about it all the time, I have it on my podcast all the time. Here's the guy we're talking to today, Ed Slot. Here's his newest book and uh, just phenomenal information. I actually use this all the time to write shows to, to give information to you. The new retirement savings time bomb, how to avoid finance or how to take financial control, avoid unnecessary taxes and combat the latest threats to your retirement savings from America's IRA expert. That's who's on our show as our guest today. And today we're talking about the SECURE Act 2.0 that was actually signed into law while you were sleeping on December the 29th, 2022. So Ed, I wanna talk about a few of the changes. I know there were like changes to QCDs, there were changes to RMDs, there were changes to Ross. There's like 90 different changes, I know. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let's jump into the big one I think affects most of our listeners, or it's going to affect all of them at some point. Let's talk about RMDs because it's so confusing. We have our 70 and a half rule, we have our 72 rule, then I'll let you take it from there and let's talk about some of these changes. All right, yeah, you started out, it was 70 and a half for years and years, and I always hated that because it was so confusing to people. Yeah. Nobody knew what age, am I 70? Do I look up 71? When am I 70 and a half? Which chart do I use? Right. So one of the great things with the original SECURE Act, they finally got rid of that half year. That was one of the best changes, and they made it just 72. Yes. But there was even confusion with their transition, who moves from 70 and a half to 72. Well, now they raised it again in Secure 2.0 to age 73. Now, there again, there will be confusion. Who gets to use age 73? In other words, wait one more year. Yeah. Well, anybody who turns 72 in 2023 or later. So if you were already taking under the 70 and a half or age 72, you just continue. Right. You don't get to stop. You know, there's no stopping with R&Ds. Yeah. Once start, uh, you know, that's it. You're over the cliff. I mean, there's no going back. Yeah. But uh, the, the best way to put it, because people will be confused. So we did it by birth years. Uh, you're going to see that we've given you some charts as one of our elite advisors. So you have some nice tools to share with your listeners and your clients. Uh, so anybody born between 1951 and 1959 rather than going through all the rules i think brad most people know when they were born at least <laughs> they're here right so that's an easy way if 51 to 59 you get to use age 73. perfect uh, that's good in a couple of ways uh congress loves raising the rmd age because they know people like it and everybody's yeah. oh good i can put it off put my rmd and that stands for required minimum distribution when you must start going the other way and start taking that money out so they delayed it one year so that gives you one more year of tax freedom which you know brad i love tax freedom absolutely one year to do whatever you want before you're forced to take that money out for example like another year to do roth conversions now just to be clear I'm not saying that once RMDs start, you can't convert anymore. It just becomes more expensive okay. because once you're into required RMDs, you first must take that amount and that amount cannot, cannot be converted to a Roth. So you first have to pay tax on that amount and it can't be converted. Once you satisfy that amount, then any part of the balance can be converted for the rest of the year, but it costs more. So you have one more year maybe to get in some Roth conversions. Yeah. That's uh, probably the best part of raising the age because you have more freedom. But there's a uh, another part that I'm not so happy about. People love to procrastinate. They sure. love especially put off paying taxes as long as they can. Yeah. That's how we were all trained. That's defer, right. defer, put it off, you know? But I'm not so sure that's a good move 
for most people. Now, you have two classes of people here, Brad. Some people that the RMD means nothing because they take more than they need anyway because they need the money. Right. Do you know by IRS's own numbers, that's 80% of the people. So telling people they can wait and take later doesn't help somebody who needs, is going to take it now anyway. Yeah. So 80% of the people are unaffected by this because they're going to take what they need. Now, uh, you, you know, throw out this other number, though. There's a fourth number for the RMDH that doesn't take effect oh, until yeah, okay. 2033. I didn't even go there. Yeah, I, I'm glad you mentioned that because I already saw headlines that are wrong okay. or, or misleading. I shouldn't say wrong. It, it's meant to like clickbait to get your attention. RMDH raised to 75. That doesn't happen for 10 years. <laughs> Half the people that are affected be dead by then. So, and who knows how many laws will be made between now and 10 years from now. So Absolutely. forget 75, how Congress threw that in there so people could write about it and say, oh, look, we're putting it off till 75. That doesn't happen till 2033, 10 years from now. So forget age 75. But there's a darker side of raising the RMD age, because like I said, we love to put off paying taxes as, as long as we can. But now that the original secure, uh, remember I said it did away with the stretch, gave most beneficiaries a 10 year rule. We know there's an end date, 10 years after death, when all of this money must come out. That's right. If you are going to shorten the window where all this money has to come out, that may cause people, uh, the IRA owners and their beneficiaries, to pay a lot more tax because more has to come out in a shorter time. You may want to change that M in RMD. Uh, the M stands for minimum, required minimum distribution, but it doesn't mean maximum. You may want to even start earlier, get Roth conversions in before RMDs, and take advantage, take more than you need, and stay in these huge low tax brackets we have now, and take it out over a longer period of time where you and your beneficiaries will end up paying less tax. Very good. Now, I'm going to pivot to something, and, and those of you that are listening, this is why I love Ed and why I love interviewing and talking with him. He never has any clue what I'm going to ask him. He doesn't want to know. This I don't stuff, want to know. This stuff isn't scripted. So he said something a minute ago that's very important, and this is why I want to spend a couple of extra minutes on it in this segment, and that wasn't planned. But here's the thing. Ed, you said you you cannot convert an RMD, and something that happens all the time. I can, I can think of one person specifically who called me and became a new client, and he said, yeah, whenever I take my RMD, I roll it over into another IRA. And I'm like, y no. you, do, you do what? You he said, yeah, I do. I said, well, you can't do that. Oh, yeah, I've been doing it for years. My other advisor never told me any different. Ed, why is it important to pay attention? To clarify two things. You can't roll over an RMD to another IRA, and you can't convert an RMD to a Roth. Just explain that real quick. It's the same rule. Rolling yeah. over uh, uh, is the same thing. That's what a conversion is. It's essentially a rollover from an IRA to a Roth, but yes. a taxable rollover. The reason that was put in the law, and that's been in the law for, for decades, as it it goes against the whole idea of forcing people to take their money out rmds because if you could take your money out and put it back in it'll, <laughs> first of all why would you do that and, and end up paying tax and there's a penalty for doing that because if you do that is a six percent excess contribution penalty you could be subject to absolutely so friends make sure that you're working with someone who is a qualified financial professional just because this guy's advisor told him it was okay or didn't tell him not to doesn't mean it's okay so that's why i've been in the ed slot advisor group the elite ira advisor group i mean i've been a master lead advisor for years and years and years actually i was in group 10 ed i don't know what we're up to now probably close to 40. Well, we're probably in the group over 10 years well over 10 years yeah uh, the, somewhere around there 13. I, people know that's an advanced education group that has nothing to do with investments this is about keeping more of your hard-earned money most advisors don't have that knowledge they can help you make a lot that's great but when it comes to IRA money which is has not yet been taxed generally it's what you keep that counts that will determine your standard of living in retirement that's why Brad and our other elite advisors only about 500 throughout the whole country have this level of knowledge 
Friends, that's right. That's why uh, I say all the time on the show, it's not what you make, it's what you keep that counts. And now you know where I get it from. It's from Ed. All, almost all my sayings are. So if you want to call in and get our free information, just call us at 866-780-SAFE. That's 866-780-7233. You can always go to our podcast. If you missed any part of the show or if you tuned in and you heard just a minute or two of this and you're like, wait, whoa, what was all that? Just go to our podcast. You can find it on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcast. It's Safe Money Radio with Brad Pistol. And you can call in anytime for a free copy of my book or Ed's recent book, uh, 866-780-7233. And there's someone standing by right now to take your call. If you were born between 1946 and 1964, you are part of an unprecedented generation of 76 million Americans known as the Baby Boomers. Have you taken steps to secure your retirement future with options to limit the loss of your principal retirement funds from market risk while utilizing key tax advantages? Why not ease the burden of transfer of funds to your heirs and insulate your money from the shocks of an increasingly volatile world economy? Give yourself and your family peace of mind and certainty that your retirement funds may have the opportunity to accumulate without the risk of market loss. So call us now at 866-780-SAFE. That's 866-780-7233. It's time to start being safe. Now back to more Safe Money Radio with your host, Brad Pistole. Thank you for tuning in to Safe Money Radio. I am Brad Pistole, a market risk mitigation specialist helping clients with retirement money preservation and income planning. Now, Ed, before the break, we were talking about RMDs and the 70 and a half moved to 72 and then it moved to 73 and and now they're saying that there'll be one at 75 that's in 2033. Confusing. But let's go to another one that can be confusing because even though I teach my clients all the time with the right information, they still confuse this. I'll be in a meeting doing an annual review and a client will say, I took my QCD and I'll, mean, I'll say, you mean your RMD? You took your RMD. No, I, I took my QCD RMD. They will say my QCD RMD. I'll say, no, those are two completely different things. A a required minimum distribution and a qualified charitable distribution are different. Uh, I do understand where they get confused, but they mean they took their RMD and gave it as a QCD to their charity. And so explain for a minute what a QCD is and what changed in the SECURE Act 2.0 regarding QCDs. All right, the QCD, a qualified charitable distribution, came out years ago and it's been made permanent. I think it's one of the best provisions in the tax code as far as saving money. Let's go back and I'll tell you why. People give to charity all the time. I mean, as a tax preparer for 40 years, I don't think I've ever met anyone who has not given to charity. At least that's what they tell me when they come in for their tax. Do you give to charity? Oh yeah, give a lot. Oh, I give, give, give. So according to my, you know, unofficial survey, 110% of the people give, okay? Yeah, yeah. And they give 150% probably of what they, you know. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> they give it all away. I give, give, give. Uh, here's the thing. Ever since the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act made major changes, uh, and I always like when they say, we cut your taxes. You know, whenever they give, here's a little tip. I've told you this before, Brad. Whenever Congress names a law, you can almost always bet whatever name they give it, it will do exactly the opposite. <laughs> Yeah, All right. So when I saw Secure, I said, hold on to your wallets. And sure enough, Not so the Tax secure. Cuts and Jobs Act actually raised taxes for some people by taking away deductions. The charitable deduction was one of them that got caught in the crosshairs. It, it didn't go away, but most people now get no receive, no tax benefit for making charitable contributions. Because the other good part about the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, they raised substantially the standard deduction. So now, according to IRS numbers, 
over 90, 90, over 90 percent of the people take a standard deduction. So they don't itemize. So they get no benefit, tax benefit. They get a great benefit of giving because uh, that's why they give to help people. But they get no tax benefit. The cha qualified charitable distribution, the QCD, is a provision that brings back that benefit. The only negative about it, it doesn't apply to enough people. It only applies to a certain group, and that group is IRA owners. So if you have an IRA, not a 401k, IRA owners or IRA beneficiaries who are 70 and a half years old or older. Now, don't get confused. We just did this whole thing on RMDs. Right. RMD age went from 70 and a half to 72 and now 73. But in all of those bills, the Secure and Secure 2.0, the QCD age was left at the old 70 and a half. So it only applies if you're 70 and a half, and you must be 70 and a half. For example, if you're turning 70 and a half tomorrow, you don't qualify today. You must actually be 70 and a half. And here's the deal. You make charitable contributions. If you do it from your IRA, a direct transfer from your IRA to a qualified charity, church, alma mater, wherever you like to give a certain cause, qualified charity, you can do a direct transfer. It's, it's a distribution from your IRA, but it doesn't count as income. So you're getting that money out at 0% tax rate, and it can satisfy your RMD if you're subject to RMDs. This is one of the best provisions because you're not getting an itemized deduction. You can't get both, that's double dipping, but you're getting better, an exclusion from income. It lowers your income, it lowers the key number on your tax return, adjusted gross income, AGI. That's the key number that determines all the tax benefits, credits, deductions, taxation or social security, those IRMA Medicare charges, everything and all because you're giving to charity. Now, I'm not saying give all your money to charity. I never say that. I mean, if, you know, for tax reasons, if you want to do that, if you're doing it just for tax reasons, yeah, give all your money away, you'll never pay taxes. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is do the giving, if you qualify, IRA owners over 70 and a half, if you qualify uh, and you do the giving you were already doing, but get a tax benefit for it, why not? Absolutely. So that's that's the number one thing I ask clients, Ed. If they come into my office and they're above the age of 70 and a half, I will ask them, are you charitably inclined? And they may think that's kind of out of order. Like, why are you asking me that? Well, most people in this part of the world say, yes, absolutely. Give to my church all the time. Are you using a QCD? Deer in the headlights. What's a QCD? They've had an advisor for years, have no clue what a QCD is, have never been talked to about a QCD. It's a big, big deal. So just briefly, just how did the Secure Act 2.0 change QCDs? What, what did they well, do with it? I don't think there were big changes, but the yeah. limit was an annual limit of $100,000 per person per year. I think that's enough to get. I mean, sure. most people don't give that much to charity. Most people don't even make that much. So I think the limit was good enough as it is, but apparently some lobbyists, I guess, <laughs> wanted higher charitable group. So starting uh, next year, the $100,000 will go up to, based on inflation, index for inflation. So it can go up a few thousand each year. Plus, if you want to use charitable remainder trusts and charitable gift annuities, you can do up to 50000 That was added. That was not allowed before. But right. still, I don't think most people are going to use that. There are some rules around that. It has to be a separate trust. I don't think people are going to go through the time and expense of set, setting up a separate trust just for $50,000. Usually these vehicles are set up for much larger amounts. So, But they put that in there. But you still cannot use it for donor advised funds and private foundations. It's meant really for direct transfers from your IRA to a charity. And the key to getting the tax break is to do it early in the year, especially if you're subject to RMDs. For example, let's say your RMD for 2023 is 5,000 and you normally give 5,000, just to make the example easy. Do this QCD first for 5,000, direct transfer from your IRA to the charity, and you won't even have to take your RMD. It satisfies that lowering your income. It's it's a big, big deal. If you don't know that one trick and tip, 
then this is a big deal. So make sure that if you're above the age of 70 and a half and you have qualified funds, you're making use of QCDs if you give to charities. And if not, maybe a good reason for you to start doing so. So especially if you don't need the taxable income. So folks, if you're listening with us today or if you're watching online and you want more information about this kind of stuff that's all in Ed's book, just call us at 866-780-SAFE. 866-780-7233. Ask for a free copy of Ed's book. Ask for a copy of Bulletproof, the Safe and Secure Retirement Income Plan. Very critical information to have after we came off of a year like 2022. How much is your retirement account down? You need to learn how to keep your money safe. Remember, it's not what you make. It's what you keep that counts. Call us anytime at 866 866- 780-7233 and after this break we'll be back with IRA expert Ed Slot. Call us anytime. Our phones are answered 24-7-866-780-7233. Realize that even a minor recurring fee of 2% in your portfolio can cost you up to one third of your retirement savings? If you're now paying a 2% fee, that can add up to 33% of your retirement savings lost to broker or management fees over about 30 years. Think about it. 33 cents of every dollar you've saved will be lost before you even enter into retirement. And it doesn't end there. That same 2% fee can cost you another 33% while you're in your retirement. So ask yourself, just whose retirement am I saving for? Stop financing someone else's retirement. Pick up the phone and call us now at 866-780-SAFE. That's 866-780-7233. You're listening to Safe Money Radio with your host, Brad Pistol. Welcome back. I'm Brad Pistol, your host of Safe Money Radio. I am a capital preservation and strategic income planning specialist working with clients right here in Springfield and Ozark, Missouri. Ed, I know that you've been on PBS for forever. It's been a long time. I've been listening oh, yeah. for years. And so your most recent show... Ed Slot's Retirement Freedom. And I talk to clients about this all the time, but I know we've done shows about this. We did last year when I had you on as a guest. Uh, We talked about freedom from taxes, freedom from worry, freedom from risk, freedom from bad advice. Let's let's talk for just a minute about what happened in 2023 because, or 2022, sorry. A lot of different things happened in 2022, but at least two of these four, I actually think all four of these are covered in what happened in 2022 because the market went down all across the board, bonds, stocks, mutual funds, unless it was something that was insured and protected, which is what we talk about on this show, things like annuities and specialized types of life insurance, the right kind. Um, And so worry and risk in 2022, I say a lot of times, boy, if you retired, timing's everything. Ed will say, uh, I don't even know if he remember when he said it, but I wrote it down the day I was there and I say it all the time. Do you know what the difference is between lettuce and garbage? It's timing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) That's it. So if you retired on December the 31st, 2021, and you thought, here comes my wonderful retirement and all your money is in a brokerage account. And then boom, the clock strikes 1201 and 2022 starts and the market's down 20, 25, 30 percent. That, that, is, that timing is, is critically important because it's really bad to go through losses the five years before you retire and the five years right after you retire. So let's talk about worry and risk. Um, Ed, why did you include worry and risk in your retirement freedom? Two different things. And I believe people should be free from all of these things. I always believe that. And I've done uh, public television shows for 15 years, but it hit me for this show. You know, it's all about having freedom to do what you want, when you want in retirement. People want to control their taxes, their level of worry, their level of risk. And what they didn't know is 
they need freedom from bad advice because it's everywhere. Yeah. It's everywhere. How do you know you're getting the right advice? Do you have an advisor like Brad here who is studying this full time, who goes to advanced training for, for years and years? I'm not talking about advisors that say, oh, I went to a seminar once. I almost even opened the book. I'm talking about you know, a commitment to education. You may have one chance to get this right. It took a lifetime to build a retirement account and you want control. You want assurances that that money will be there when you're ready to use it in retirement. The last thing you want to know is and when your time comes, that money has gone somewhere else to taxes or to worry about family members. That's where I put in life insurance because you want to make sure everything's taken care of. And just so you know, I'm a tax advisor. I don't sell stocks, bonds, funds, insurance, annuities. It's not about that stuff. It's about having the plans you want to be carried out the way they were intended to take care of yourself and family members. But I want to focus on one of them since you brought up uh, uh, the year 2022. Yeah. And that's just, that happens every few years, or it's almost like every 10 years, you can almost guarantee it, these uh, these loss periods. But this, this started way before. I mean, go back to the 2008, 2009 crash. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. We had things called, let me see, subprime mortgages, collateralized debt obligations, credit default swaps. I don't really know what any of those things were or are. All yeah. I know is whoever had them lost their money. But it's not like losing money in stocks where you don't lose it until you sell and the stock market usually rebounds and corrects themselves. That money was gone. Yes. So now we had crypto and so it's a new iteration. That money's gone. The only people that ever made money on crypto were three kinds of people, athletes, entertainers, and celebrities who were getting paid to tout. And it's almost like the old pump and dump schemes. You know, Brad, uh, you saw all, I don't want to list names. You know who all the famous football players and celebrities and said, oh yeah, I'm doing crypto. Yeah, crypto. Yeah, he already got paid or she already got paid. I don't even know if you saw, even during 2022, I, I, I will name one name because it's meaningless anyway. Even Kim Kardashian opened a hedge fund or some investment fund. Did you see that? And the yes. minute that happened, she got fined like a million dollars because she thought she could just advertise it on, uh, who knows, TikTok or wherever she was. You, you, this is not the place to make bets on your retirement money. This goes on and on. And it's, it's going to happen. I don't know what the next iteration was, but since, Brad, it's football season and i know you have a big team uh in in the uh in the running right that's right go, go chiefs all right uh but i'll give you a football analogy you know who the 49ers are right brad right san francisco yeah i'm not talking about those 49ers i'm yeah. talking about the ones they were named after the 1849ers the gold rush people now i wasn't there at the time i know i'm old but i wasn't there at the time maybe brad was but i wasn't there at the time but they had the same issues everybody went out west for gold that was the new thing the gold rush you know who made the money in the gold rush? The people, just like the crypto people, that had the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. The people who sold the picks and shovels and tools and supplies and equipment. That's who made the money. The poor people lost their money chasing dreams and hope. You can't risk that with your retirement savings. You need certainty. You need stability. That's where guaranteed products like guaranteed income or guaranteed life insurance, I have that for myself. I don't want to rely on the next Fed. I don't know what's coming after crypto. They'll call it something else, and the next celebrity will be out there saying, oh, I've got mine. You have to get yours. Yeah, because they already got theirs. <laughs> Boy, this, I mean is, this is so good. Those of you that are listening right now, I want you to stay with us. We've got two more segments with that. And I want to pick up on this. I want to talk about something because uh, my father passed away in 2022. And I know Ed's experienced this loss, losing his parents. And I want to pick up on why this stuff is important, uh, why it's important to have things that are guaranteed and what you pass on when it comes to family planning, uh, income for a spouse or for, for beneficiaries. So come back and join us. If you're listening to us uh, on the radio, and you want to call in and get more information about how to keep your money safe, how to do what America's IRA expert is talking about, the number is 
780 SAFE. That's 866 780 7233. Just call in and ask for a free financial consultation with me. I do not charge fees to meet with you. You can come in and, and get a copy of Ed's book, get a copy of my book, and we will talk about how to create a bulletproof plan around your retirement income so that you will never run out of money. You don't have to worry about the stock market. You will have guaranteed lifetime income for you and for your heirs. So the number again is 866-780-7233. And there's someone standing by right now to take your call. Do you think the market is going up or going down? Or is that even the right question to be asking? Here's a better question. When the market goes up, do you get to lock in your gains? What if you never had to worry about the market going up or down? Here's another question. Do you have a plan to never outlive your retirement money? What if the market crashes when you need to start using your money for retirement? Taking withdrawals from your retirement account can have devastating consequences due to sequential rate of return risk. If you don't know what that is, you should call us to find out. Brad's best-selling book, Bulletproof, The Safe and Secure Retirement Income Plan, and his Safe Money Kit can show you how to limit market risk and guarantee a lifetime of income. So pick up the phone and call us now at 866-780-SAFE. That's 866 780 7233. No, Mr. Gekko, I'm in this game to make money like anybody else. So, what about money, Jake? You like her? Do I like her? I've never, I've never thought about money as a sheep. Oh, she lies there in bed at night with you. Looking at you, one eye open, money never sleeps. And she's jealous. And if you don't pay close, close attention, you wake up in the morning, she might be gone forever. Save money. money. Radio, 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 radio. The money is not the prime asset in life. Time is, and uh, your time is just about up. Now back to more Safe Money Radio with your host, Brad Pistol. Welcome back. I'm Brad Pistol, your host of Safe Money Radio. I am a capital preservation and strategic income planning specialist working with clients right here in Springfield and Ozark, Missouri. Now, Ed, before the break, we jumped into something that I, I'm passionate about. I know you're passionate about it also. We both own a lot of what we're talking about, but annuities and life insurance and things that protect you from all the ups and downs of the market. I mean, sure, we, we own stocks, bonds, mutual funds. The market's always going to do what it's going to do. It's going to go through its cycles. But there are some things that protect us from that. And those are things like certain types of guaranteed annuities that protect your principal, that have income riders that give you lifetime income, and also life insurance. And Here's where this, it's always meant a lot to me, but in this past year, in 2022, on August 29th, my father passed away. My father was a lifelong financial advisor, 52 years in the industry. And so he, he spent a lot of his career working as an assistant vice president for Merrill Lynch. He spent the last 14 years working with me. But the thing is, here's the thing. He had a lot of his money in the market in 01 and in 08 at Merrill Lynch, and it went, you know, bye-bye. It, it, it went down. And the key to that is it could have been okay if he would have been in his 30s, but he was 56 and 63 when 01 and 08 happened. That's a critical in uh, time. You don't really have the time to have it come back. So he did eventually in 2011. He actually rolled out all of his brokerage money. He purchased three fixed indexed annuities with income riders. There, there's multiple kinds he could have purchased, but he bought three of those. He also purchased a life insurance policy. Now, this is what's interesting, Ed. My father was a CLU. He sold tons of life insurance, but he didn't own any. He didn't own any permanent life insurance until I said, Dad, 
you really need to think about this. You're insurable. Your health is great. You need to think about mom in the future. So in 2011, he took out a life insurance policy on himself. And thank God he did. Because you, you know what's coming, Ed. When he passed, my mother has had the beauty and the benefit of continuing those annuity payouts, continuing uh, to, to get the tax-free blessing from life insurance. It's what sustained her. So, Ed, I know we've talked about it before. Do you own annuities and life insurance? I mean, Absolutely. people say this stuff is junk. So why I don't talk about anything that I don't do for myself? Well, sometimes I do because certain things don't apply to everybody. But right. when I talk about it, these are things I did for my own family. Let me start with my mother. Uh, my father died many years ago, and my mother, uh, you know, lived well into her 90s, and she had a financial advice. Not me. Again, I don't sell these products. I'm a tax advisor. But she had an advisor very much like Brad that saw, you know, Bev, you're going to go. She was like the Energizer bunny, uh, you know. She... Uh, I, and the advisor knew that. That's an important thing, communicating with your clients, which I know you do, Brad, and you know your clients, and he knew her. And he said, you know, you're gonna need income for a long time. And she sold the house we grew up in, the only house uh, she, they ever, we ever had, and uh, put a lot of that money into, I think, four or five of these annuities. And that was the greatest gift that she could have given us. The greatest gift you can give your own family and yourself is the gift of financial security. To That's put it right. another way, the greatest gift you can kill, give your children is to not move in with them. <laughs> That's boy. That's right. Financial security, and she had that. Now, my brother and sister are not financial people. They don't even realize the gift she gave them mm -hmm. because they never realized that you know she had this money coming in, and she used to talk about it all the time. She says, oh, "These checks come in, no matter." And they did. The checks come in, come in every month, no matter how old she got, no matter how sick she got. And no matter how the stock market performed, it didn't matter to her. In fact, even at the very end, I was visiting her at the hospital and I looked at a checking account and said, it's only like $600 left. So what do I care? I get new checks every month. That's she was it. A drunken sailor. You know, she was, you know, there's something about having guaranteed income. I can't, I don't know what it is. I just know people with guaranteed income, they're just happier people. They don't worry about all of these things. And I saw that in her. So to me, the financial security was unbelievable. I followed her lead. You say, do I have annuities? Yes. The only thing better than guaranteed income for life is what I have. Do you want to have a commercial here? Because now people want to know, what is that? And I'll tell you right away. I hate when people do that. You know, you got to listen to them. Come back after the break. <laughs> yeah. The only thing better than guaranteed income for life is what I have. What do you have, Ed? Well, if you've been listening to me, I like tax freedom, too. The only thing better than guaranteed income for life is guaranteed tax-free income for life. How did I do that? I followed my mother's lead. I have it in my IRA, but I don't have an IRA because I like Roth IRAs. I have my annuities in my Roth IRAs, not for everything. I still believe you want to get the upside of the market. But as a general rule, here's some of my rules of retirement. In retirement, income is always more important than savings because savings can run out. Yes. That's incredibly important. And my other rule for retirement, uh, as far as guaranteed income, my rule, everybody has different rules, but I bet you this would help most people. Basic monthly living expenses. Whatever that number is for you, this is a number you must have money for. Basic monthly living expenses. Whatever that number is for you, that should be secured with guaranteed income. You can't tell the electric company, oh, the market's down this month. Can I catch you next month? No, it doesn't work like that. You need that money coming in. So I believe that whatever your number is for basic monthly living expenses should be secured by guaranteed monthly income, like my mother had. You never have to worry. Yes, the rest you can have in the market, and that's what I have in my own Roth IRA. I have market exposure, but I have guardrails against it with those annuities. I have a buffer, a protection against downside risk. And if I ever need that, I have guaranteed tax-free income for life. I'm hoping never to use that and to pass it on to my kids. Those of you that are listening right now, and if you've been listening since 2010, because I've been on, this is my 14th year, 
you may hear a broken record right now and why because i own guaranteed tax-free lifetime income i own six annuities three of those are held in roth iras and that's one of the things that can be so confusing to consumers i will ask them where their ira is and they'll say well uh it's my IRA, and they don't realize that you can hold an IRA in an annuity, that you can hold a Roth IRA in an annuity, which the generates- way, you can hold an annuity in an IRA. IRA. Exactly, the annuity in the IRA, and then get the tax-free income from that. So whether it's life insurance or Roth IRAs, the, these are our tax-free revenue streams. And if you want to learn more about how to do that, we talk about this very uh, specifically in Bulletproof with the forward by America's IRA expert, Ed Slott. He talks about the tax tumor that's inside the IRA. We go over that, and that tumor is going to have to be dealt with at some point. We take it out by converting to a Roth, and in your situation, that may or may not be the best thing to do, but we'll talk about that. But I want to talk about the great debate. So tell us tell us about this new thing that started here, this podcast with Jeffrey. Uh, we're all ears. Well, Jeffrey Levine and I have worked together for many years, and now he's with uh, another firm. Uh, I don't. He has so many titles, I don't even know which is the right one. He's he got does. all the alphabet, uh, uh, alphabet soup with Buckingham and... Oh, he's brilliant. Uh, one of the the best young people I've seen really soak all this up and become one of the top advisors literally in the country in the things we're talking about, protecting your retirement savings. Yes. So Jeff actually came up with the idea, said, Ed, why don't you and I start a debate on questions? But it's a different kind of debate. The only winner of the debate is the listener. That's right. We hit you know, we've fielded questions, me for many decades, him even for years as himself. Uh, oh, we've heard all the questions. Should I take Social Security early? Should I uh, take retirement early? Should I do life insurance? Should I pay down my mortgage? Every question. So we debate every issue. Now, we should I do a Roth conversion? Should I name a trust as a beneficiary? Uh, should I have long-term care insurance? Everything, every question. And we just pick, we actually toss a coin and pick the side. Now, uh, for example, I love Roth IRAs, but I may have gotten the side, what are the downsides? The point is, there's pluses and minuses, benefits and drawbacks, pros and cons to every decision you make. So the point is, even if I would have done the other thing, there are, there are pros and cons to each issue. And then you can match them up to your own personal facts and circumstances, but you have both sides of the coin. That's why we flip a coin. You have both sides of the coin so you can learn a lot and say, you know what? I was thinking of doing that, but you know, he made good points. Oh, the other guy made good points. You actually may have to have a list and say, you know, it makes you think. So there's no ulterior mode. Nobody's selling anything. It's just two advisors talking and hitting a question that we've both received from people like your listeners, uh, Brad, and people who watch you on YouTube. They And you've heard all the questions too, but now we hit both sides, independent, objective, unbiased, just giving you the facts and help you be the winner of the debate to decide what's the best course of action for you. And you can rely on it because it's just a debate. It's not uh, salesy or anything like that. There's nothing being sold. It's just to listen in and get a good perspective on what might be best for you for the key questions you have about retirement, social security, uh, insurance, things like we're talking about here, even reverse mortgages. We've done like 20 topics already. I can't it, even remember them all. It's so good. Uh, I'm just looking at, should I own cryptocurrency in my retirement oh, yeah. account? Should I use a Roth IRA versus a 529 plan for college? Should I use a Roth Roth IRA or life insurance to provide a legacy. That was a great one. So friends, I'll tell you this, my son and I, Hunter and I, we're both retirement income certified professionals through the American College. We have our ICP designation. I'm a CFF and a CAS. And, and Hunter and I love the great retirement debate. We tune every week. We're like, have you listened to that one yet? Boy, this was so good. Begin, because the winner is you, the consumer. You get to hear different sides. They literally flip a coin and don't know which side they're going to take. That's why you should have a qualified financial professional who knows both sides of things. But it's so good. So, Ed, how can they, how can they listen to the great retirement debate? Uh, just, uh, you know what, you got me there. I, uh, that's beyond my pay grade. I know it's set up by, uh, just type in either Ed Google Slott, it. Jeffrey Levine, the great retirement debate. I think we have a dot-com thing. You can find yeah. it, I'll post a link. 
And, Absolutely. Uh, again, all free, nothing, no salesy, but it gives you great information. And I tell you, this was Jeff's brainchild, but he really, it's unbelievable. Uh, and, he, you know, we both talk about what questions did you get? You know, we'll meet like once a month. And so that's a good one. A lot of people, there's two sides to every, almost, there's almost no decision that's always one way. Although if you ask me with the Roth, I love the Roth. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, those of you that are listening, that's exactly why we decided after 13 years to start putting Safe Money Radio on a podcast because so much of our listeners will call in and say, hey, I only heard 30 seconds of your show. Where can I find it? And we podcast things on our radio sites, but we now, it's simple. You can go to YouTube, you can go to Spotify, you can go to Apple Podcasts, just type in Safe Money Radio with Brad Pistol and you can subscribe and you'll be able to see things like this. You can go to YouTube and watch this interview with America's IRA expert, Ed Slot. And there's a lot of information there, so you can watch it in segments, and you can pause it and rewind it. That's a great thing. You can do the same thing with the podcast or with the show. And that's why I'm blessed to have been friends with Ed for so long, to have his information constantly provided to you. If you've been to my office, you know it is an Ed Slot library. <laughs> there's pictures of him in every single room. His books are everywhere. His DVDs are everywhere. They're on my desk. If you want a copy... You can go to Amazon to buy either one of our books. We're thankful for that. You can also contact us. We will get you uh, in front of the information that will change your life forever. It will teach you how to keep your money safe and out of the hands of the tax man. You don't want to give away unnecessary taxes and free money to, to, to Uncle Sam. So if you want to know more about what we do, just call us anytime. 866-780-SAFE. That's 866-780-7233. We'll give you a copy of Ed's book, The New Retirement Savings Time Bond. We'll give you a copy of Bulletproof, The Safe and Secure Retirement Income Plan, which will teach you how to protect your lifetime income and how to generate tax-free streams and revenues for the rest of your life. Ed, thank you so much for joining us today. We'll have you back on again. I know here in Literally just a few minutes, our entire Ed Slot group is going to be on training and drilling down about the Secure Act 2.0, about 500 of us. That's yeah. why you want to work with a qualified financial professional who stays on top of this stuff all the time so they can get the information in your hands. So, Ed, thank you so much. I got to tell you, Brad, I was watching, you know, I finally got one of these smarter TVs. I didn't know how to do it, but my daughter was home, set everything up. And I couldn't believe I used to go on my computer to find these podcasts. And all of a sudden she put on YouTube and there in my den, the giant screen is Brad. I said, this is unbelievable. This is like watching a movie, you know, on the big screen. You got to watch it. If, if you're listening, uh, you want to go to YouTube, you know, it adds a lot more life to see me and Brad there. I was amazed. I was sitting there watching. It was great. Fantastic. Viewers, you know what to do. Go to YouTube, type in Brad Pistol or Safe Money Radio with Brad Pistol. You can see all my interviews with Ed's that have been taking place for years now. Call us anytime, 866-780-SAFE, 866-780-7233. It's not what you make. It's what you keep that counts. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you, Ed. Thanks. Well, that's about all the time I have for Safe Money Radio this week. But before I go, I want you to know that I sleep at night knowing that my clients have retirement plans that remove the stress of market loss from the money they depend on for retirement. And I want you to sleep well at night too. Until next time and at the same time, I'm Brad Pistole reminding you to stay safe so you can step into a secure future. Safe Money Radio, your money's safe. You've been listening to Safe Money Radio with your host, Brad Pistol. Find out how to contractually guarantee that your hard-earned money is safe while avoiding market loss so you can have the retirement that you deserve. Call Brad Pistol now for your complimentary Safe Money book and Safe Money information kit at 866-780-SAFE. That's 866 866- 780-7233. Save money radio. Your money safe and sound. The preceding information does not represent tax, legal, or investment advice. Surrender charges apply to base annuity contracts. Optional lifetime income benefit riders are used to calculate lifetime payments only and are not available for cash surrender or in a death benefit unless specified in the annuity contract. Fees may apply. Annuity guarantees are based on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the insurance company. 
No information presented today should be acted upon without meeting with a qualified and licensed professional. Obviously, by calling us now, you're just taking the first step towards protecting your retirement. It is important that you read all insurance contract disclosures carefully before making a purchase decision. Rates and returns mentioned on this program may vary based on state availability and are subject to change without notice. 